Hey guys, what's going on? I touch stuff here, and in today's video tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to fix iFile on iOS 4. So, what was happening here is when you opened up iFile on iOS 4, it would give you this black screen, sort of like uh, how Vinci used to do until um, people found out how to fix it. So, this is my fix video for this. The only problem with this is you're going to have to keep on constantly repeating this method um, every time that you want to use iFile, and I'll show you what I mean by that. So here's just an example of what iFile will do. So I'm going to go ahead and open it up. And it looks okay right now. It's loading like it normally does. And in a little bit, the screen's going to go black and yeah. And so there you go, guys. It went black. And basically, you can't access iFile. You can't use iFile. And I'm just going to exit out of it right now. So the fix is, you go into your settings application. This is a really weird fix. I don't know why this happens, or why this fix fixes iFile, but it does. So here you go. Open up iFile. Select General. And scroll down to Date and Time. Select that. And select Set Date and Time. And you want to click on the top one. It should be on Time. You want to select the date. And as you can see, today is Thursday, August 5th, 2010. And you want to change it to March 18th, 2010. And you can exit out. And completely exit out of settings, if you'd like. And go ahead and reopen iFile. And everything should work uh, as it normally did on a previous OS. Now this is a really, really strange fix. And it should load up in a second for you guys to see. So, just give it one more second. And there you go. Everything is fixed. Really strange why this seems to be happening. I don't know why. Uh, and the downside to this fix is that um, when you shut off your iPod or respring your iPod or connect to a new Wi Fi network, it'll automatically reset your date and time to the internet's date and time. And so you'll have to constantly go back and reset. Uh, the date and time to March 18th, 2010 when you'd like to use iFile. And this also um, this has a downside because you won't know what date it actually is if you're using your iPhone, iPod, or iPad as a uh, tool for looking at the date and time. And so this is the fix, guys. Uh, it's a little more of a problematic type fix because it causes more problems for you not too serious, but it gets iFile fixed, and if you need iFile, iFile is part of your daily life, you you like hacking and stuff like that, then this fix is uh, going to be what you need. So this is iTouch Stuff here, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.